Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to tie a hopper pattern that I've been playing around with for a long time. I've got a Daiichi 1260 hook in the vise. I've already put a base layer of thread down, and then I've pierced a mm, little wider than an eighth of an inch piece of foam here, not quite a quarter of an inch piece of foam, right in the middle. It's about a four inch long piece of foam, three and a half inch long piece of foam. I'm going to lay that piece of foam flat on the bottom of the hook, make a wrap, two wraps, and tighten down. This is going to start the segments for my body. Then I'm going to take, to make sure things don't slide around too much later in the tying process, I'll take a short or a small amount of head cement and apply that to the thread. Then what I'll do is I'll fold over the foam and right on top of where I made those first thread wraps I'll make a few more thread wraps just to make that first segment. Then I'm going to advance my thread by pulling back the foam, wrapping forward a short distance. Now I can essentially wrap both at the same time. Just make sure you've got a nice even wrap. Tighten that down. Advance your thread forward again for another body segment. Close up the foam once more. Wrap your segment. Double check your segments are turning out nice and even. Repeat that process again. Make one more segment. So now we've got our hopper body and we will trim off our excess foam. Tighten up my thread wraps a little bit there. I'll trim off the extra foam at the front. I'm going to make an X wrap and I'm going to come back to that first segment. And I'm going to take and start working on the wing of the fly. I'm going to take a little bit of CDC. It's kind of a cream yellow CDC. Take two feathers. Tie those on so they hang just over the end of the body. Then I'm going to take a piece of web wing, tan web wing, mottled web wing, tie that down. And what you can do with this web wing, once you've got it tied down, go ahead and make a cut down the middle of it to split that over wing so it fans out a little bit. And just to add a little bit more visibility to that wing, I'm going to tie in a small L care wing on top. That should only go about halfway back on the body. So I'll make my cut 
first so I don't have to trim butt ends later. Tie that down. Compress. Next I'm going to tie in some knotted rubber legs. I've got two strands of rubber uh, leg material in tan and medium that have been knotted and then on the bottom half you've cut away one of the segments. We'll tie that in. Do the same on the other side. Make sure that the knots line up so your legs are the equal are an equal length on either side of the hook. And trim off the excess. Now we'll advance our thread back to that front segment and clean that up just a little bit more. I'm going to take an additional piece of foam, fold that over and tie that down at the front of the hook and then cover that up with thread. Make sure we're going to fold that back bullet head style. Just make sure that it's all good to go. Looks good. Now we'll take a little bit of yellow ice dub. Dub that fairly tight onto the thread. We'll cover up those thread wraps. Just make sure that that ice dub is fairly tight. That saves it from getting shaggy too quickly. Okay. Once I know I've covered all that up, I'll advance just in front of that first segment, stretch and pull my foam back and tie that down. And then I'll cut that so it overhangs a little bit. And then I'll cut those edges into a little taper. Just kind of make sure you didn't monkey up too much stuff there. There we go. And next, for a little cider, oops, before I do my cider, we're going to do some tan grizzly legs for four legs. Tie those in the base of the head. One set for either side. And I'll do a little cider. You can use foam. You can use a lot of different things. I'm going to use a clump of orange ice dub. Tie that in on the top of the hook. Get a couple of wraps to tighten it down. And then you can do a three turn whip finish to finish the fly. The fly is turning a little bit on me. I should have maybe used some super glue. Adjust that a little bit now. For my cider I'll just trim that. And there we have a finished hopper. It's got a nice profile underneath. Good overwing. It looks like a struggling hopper. You can dress it up a little bit if you want to um, mark up the, the back legs. You can bar those back legs red, put some black barring on the, on the rubber legs themselves, whether that'll catch any more fish or not. I don't know, but it makes it look cool. So this fly borrows a lot from a lot of hopper patterns you've already seen, so I can't take sole credit, but I'll still call this Hans's hopper. And it's been working well for me the last couple seasons. I keep tweaking it, uh, but this is the latest version, latest and greatest. Again, I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter from Rapid City, South Dakota. 
you can get the materials to tie these patterns uh, that, that are featured in our videos at flyfishsd.com. Come out and fish the beautiful Black Hills. Thanks for watching.